episode two. I want to say thank you so much for watching, subscribing. It's pretty exciting doing the YouTube channel, showing you guys what we get up to. So this last week, there's been loads happening in the bike park and my ankle, my Achilles tendon is still really sore from the riding you're about to see. So I think I went a bit too, too big too soon. So thanks for the support and let me know in the comments down below anything that you want to see or might be cool to film. Cheers guys. So I've been building up to doing bigger and bigger jumps since my injury and now we're going to try the big jump at the bottom of the jump line. <laughs> jumps again last couple of weeks really since lockdown i've just been riding in the bike park as much as possible using it as an opportunity to kind of really get confident again um mainly on jumps jumps is, was a thing you know the heavy landings all that pressure on your achilles that's what i was lacking the confidence in and, and now today finally following ollie it just clicked and I, I felt like so confident on the jump so much more confident anyway even though i am riding an athlete bikes it's too big because mine's getting painted so today has been like a milestone in this nine month journey. Daniel! Building a pump track for the bike park. It's actually pretty cool to be doing something different to just build in like the normal sort of stuff that we build. Long tracks. Pretty nice to see the progress so quick. Pretty excited to have a pump track on the bike park as well. Yay, it's exciting! Never built a pump track. <laughs> don't know what to do. <laughs> Just want to build big gaps. <laughs> no, don't. Build the opposite of a big gap. Mm, it's hard though. A bit cloudy over here. Yeah. Give me some tips. <laughs> That's a start then, is it? Loads of bedrock all the way under there, so I can't go any lower. So it has to be high. But it's kind of good. What about in the middle? Get up to speed well. Yeah, and then a little kid's track in the middle, probably, for the balance bikes. Hard trying to picture what transfers you, you can do as well. Don't want to just build it one dimensional. Yeah, we're boring. What's so like from one bit to another? Yeah, like transferring out of like bowls and into another bowl and so people can make up lines. Yeah, this is going to be the pump track. The jump line comes down here, some big tabletops and stuff. And then this is like a plateau that overlooks the hills and mountains. We have a pump track with a kid pump track in the middle. Then you walk down this path in the woods and you come out of the cafe and the cabin down the bottom. Plenty of rock, not enough soil. <laughs> <laughs> Just pack rock in. What are you going to put on top? Badger sand. Hey, favourite thing? <laughs> His favourite thing is badger sand. So this makes me happy. This is our top layer. Badger sand. Mix with a little bit of clay, just help it stick down. Can't put it on too thick. You've pretty much got the shape now, so just throw a bit of that on top. Whack a plate it, job done. Packs in after about two years. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ow! Get off! Ow!
<laughs> Blithering idiot. <laughs> so we got a stump in the way now, so we're going to take that out. But I think it might pull the tree over. Which is bad. Bad. We need those trees. I might have to take it from a few different angles. You can do it. The tree is definitely going to fall over. Oh no. We love that tree as well. This is hemlock. We'll watch Dan from up here. Safe distance away. Oh no. The tree's going to fall over. Maybe I'll put the GoPro down and run off. Way! You did it! That poor tree is just balanced there now. Hanging on by its tippy toes. So no one hits it. When they're jumping out the shark fin berm. Wow. Test lap coming up. Go on, Danny. You. Yeah, it worked. That works, mint. The bushes are waiting. Ollie's building this new cabin and it's so cool. He's made it all in structural panels in his workshop, insulated, and now he's taking it down to, to the bottom, putting it putting it up. So gonna go see how they're getting on. It's really exciting seeing these things going up in the bike park and imagining everyone here when it's finished and we've got a new sign on cabin and the shop's up and running and it's a lot more professional than it we started out with. Everyone kind of hanging out under the shelter when it's raining with the wood burner going or sitting out on the deck, sunbathing, food from the cafe. It's such a good vibe here. And it's so exciting when new things are going in. Dan's at the top oh, building a pump track at the moment. Floor. <laughs> so uh, it's really difficult to make these guys work hard because they, all they want to do is ride their bikes and it's just, oh. Building the bike park is the number one important thing. Right, I'm going back to work. Thanks guys for watching. This bit of wood is just in the way so I'm just gonna tear it up and move it. I hate it when bits of wood are in the wrong place. I really hate it. Obviously with the coronavirus, the bike park had to close and it was really gutting to, to have to close so soon after opening. I think we'd only been open nine months since last July and you know, to have to close in our first spring, the weather's finally dry and cleared up, the tracks are absolutely prime and we've only been open in the winter months really. So it was gonna be so exciting for people to finally be riding Dovey in the dry and to see just how fun it is. But one thing it did mean is that Dan and, and the crew could um, get on with things. And obviously since we opened, you know, for Dan especially, it's been super stressful. He's kind of running the bike park and he's running the forest and managing the sawmill and there's so much going on. For Dan, it's actually been a bit of a, a relief to have this time to focus on making the park better and, and not just running it. It looks mint. Another day, no dollars. <laughs> I'm just on encouragement duty. Keep working, Ollie. Are you going to drop it? One big cedar hog. <laughs> 